video we're going to cover how to properly rename a Windows Server 2019 or 2016 domain controller um, so that you're going to be left with a DC on your network uh, with the exact same name, the exact same IP um, so for migration purposes it should be seamless to the user. Uh, the first thing we need to check is that we have actually renamed the old DC and demoted it and made our new DC uh, primary DC. So we do this by checking the operations master roles. So as you can see the RID, the PDC and the infrastructure roles are all held by server 2 which is our new DC. You can see in the background here our old DC has been demoted and renamed server 1 old. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and look at changing the name of this domain controller to server 1 to match the old name of server 1. So first things we're going to need is a admin credent admin command window. Okay, and then there's a couple of commands that you need to run which I will put in the video comments just so you've got them. So net dom computer name and then we want to specify the fully qualified domain name of the server that it is now and then we want to go ahead and add a new name like that but before we do this we need to do a couple of things as well so we need to remove this account completely and if you get a box on there saying remove server subtree tick yes because that removes the other names as well and also we need to go into sites and services and delete the server out of the default first site name and it's also worth checking as well just to make sure there are no entries in DNS to the server name also which there are. It's fine. So now we can go ahead and add the command. So we can see that this server now has got a couple of names <clears throat> server 1 and server 2. The next part is to make the name the primary name. make primary don't worry about the commands I'll put them in the comments section as well for you so you can see them so net DOM computer name server2.work.local make primary server1.work.local click enter that will now make the name of this server a primary name and then you can just choose how you want to restart the server I'll go for quick commanding and there so that now will reboot and hopefully it will come back with the new name of server1.work.local and server2.work.local will be a secondary name which we can just pop back into command and remove quite simply just wait for that to reboot should be quite quick okay that's rebooted successfully we'll go ahead and log back on into command we can confirm that it's the correct host name and if we do net dom computer name remember to do server one dot local as well now because that's now the primary name see it's still got the other name what we do now is we do remove server2.work.local that's now been removed and if we enumerate the names again you can now see that it's only got one name we'll just open up Active Directory and you 
can see it's got the correct name. Okay, that's now the end of the video. Um, any questions, please let me know. I'll make sure the comments have got the commands in there. Um, cheers.